Would you like to make a school management system into WordPress truly for free? In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you what we can do. So hey everybody, if you don't know what actually WordPress is, it's an amazing place to start creating your very first website. And if you want to make some management here totally for free, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is to go into the Pantheon.io. So here, as you can see, what I can do is to actually deploy some website into WordPress. And I don't have to even pay for actually adding some plugins and to add more stuff because of course you need to have a strong and a plan in order to start working here into WordPress. If you're into Pantheon, you don't want to worry about that. So once you hit into the option that says get started, what I want to do of course is to provide my first, my last name, a company, work email, and a passcode. After that, you want to import your country to agree to the Pantheon terms of use and hit into sign up. So once you have successfully done that, it's going to be appearing something like this. So let's head into create our new site. So now that we are here into the Pantheon dashboard, I want to focus into create a new site. And here, what I want to do is to import the option that says WordPress. So this is a traditional CMS site that we can get within minutes. So I'm going to choose this option. And I just want to import the information that I want to use for the actual WordPress, which in my case is the name of my Pantheon site, the region, and I'm going to hit into continue. Once we have successfully done that, it's going to be taking a few minutes to um, to design and customize that, but here's going to appear in your site name. So if you go into your site and you clicked in here, you're going to be seeing something like this. So now that we have now launched our actual stuff, we want to copy this one. I'm going to go into visit development site and it's going to be sending us into the actual development section of WordPress. So I'm going to go into English, hit into continue, and it's going to be asking us for information details. So into the site title, and I'm going to type my actual text express and the username. I want to use the same username I used before here. So that's the reason why I copy and paste. Here is my passcode. If I want to change that, I can do that. In my case, I'm going to just copy paste this because this is just an example idea. And here into your email, you want to input the one that you just used in here, which is actually this one. Copy and paste. Search engine visibility. You want to discourage this one and hit into stall the actual WordPress. So once the WordPress has been added, what you want to do is just to sign in. As you can see, this is the username and the passcode. So we're going to hit into logged in. So my username is the actual this one. So now, as you can see, I'm now into the dashboard of WordPress. So if you want to start by creating some management, like a system for your school management, what I want to do is to start by using plugins. Now here into plugins, I'm going to focus into plugins and I'm going to go into add new. And here's you can see it's going to be appearing all the plugins that was um, automatically added into my actual website. I'm going to go into add new here have my plugins. So here, once you go into search plugins and here you want to go for your keyword, here you want to import your keywords, for example, let's go for school. What I want to do is to look out for some stuff that can be helping me to do that management. For example, we have this school management system. Uh, we have this one as well. So what you want to do is to focus into the active installations that they do have just to make sure that this one is compatible with your version of WordPress. So here, for example, this one has more than 1000, more than 2000. We have more than 2000, more than 10,000 here. So master study WordPress plugin for online courses and education. I want to look out for something more easier, for example, the school management system. And I want to hit into install now. So with that being said, we just need to go back into our actual install plugins and activate this system. So we can now start to work into our actual plugin. So let's get into set it up your plugins. So focus into plugins focus into start plugins. And here I want to look out for WPS School Press, which is the plugin that we just installed. And here, as you can see, we have the actual section that says activate. So as you can see, I already have this active. So there we go. So now what I want to do is to view the details of my WP WordPress. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna click here into WP School Press. And as you can see, this is the actual settings. So, so depending on the plugin that you choose, it's going to be appearing different tools. In my case, the WP School Press has the dashboard. We can add teachers, students, parents, classes, attendance, events, and more. So first of all, what I want to focus on is speaking about school management. I'm going to focus, of course, into the teachers. So I'm going to go into teachers. And here, what I want to do is to add my first teachers. As you can see, I have this action. I have the name in charge class, subject, phone, and the action. So I'm going to hit into create new. 
And here, once I input all the information about all my teachers who are going to be attending the actual classes. So here, I'm going to just do something really, really fast. Hit into profile name. Let's go for a mail. So once you hit all the information that you think is really important for the actual uh, teacher, I'm going to scroll all my way down and hit into next or hit into like this. And here's an email address that I need to provide. Let's say, for example, I'm going to just hit into example at example.com. I mean, this is just for uh, as an example so you can see. So if I head back to and the very first part of the dashboard is going to be appearing to all my um, students, all my teachers. So as you can see, we have this one. And here's the in-charge class. You don't have to worry about that. I'm going to be doing that later. I'm going to be focusing now into the students. So into the students, the process is exactly the same. So I'm going to click there. And I want to hit into create new. If you have already a, a plan, an import, and a file that have all the actual um, students, you can add those. But in my case, I want to go and do that manually. So I'm going to hit into create new. And I want to do exactly the same thing. I have the profile images, the first the last name. Uh, all the information about the address, the parent details, which I think is really, really important, the account information, and the school details. After that, let's get into our parent section. Here into the parents is exactly the same thing. I want to have like just um, all my information into just one place so I can start to make the management of all of them. So lastly, guys, I want to focus now into the classes, kill the classes, the subjects, the marks, the exams. Everything should be added manually here. So what you want to do is to, of course, get into create new. Speaking about classes, what you want to do is to add the name of your class. So let's say, for example, this is just like gym, class number one, class capacity, starting on, let's say, and Friday, the class location, online, and the teacher is going to be added here. You can hit into submit. So once you have created your classes and once you have added the people, the teacher is going to be appearing into the actual in charge. I'm going to hit back into teachers and automatically it's going to be appearing what are the actual subject, the assessment and the class is going to be heading. So for example, in charge class, I have the gym. So as you can see, it's not that hard to actually use this actual template. So we can use more plugins if you wanted to. We have the notification, the events, if you want to have any specific events of your school, you have the transport, they have your general settings and much more. Once you have successfully done that, what you want to do is to exit here. What I want to do is to go into the very first part like this. So I can import the plugin into my actual website, which in my case, it would be the pages. And here into pages, we have the dashboard, the privacy policy, the title. I want to go into add new. And you want to implement the WP School Press into a new page so you can everybody can just sign in and they can start working here. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more uh, great tools that can be offering the actual WordPress. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I will see you on the actual next video. See you soon.